This tutorial is supposed to be dedicated to tracking and masking, but simply explaining how to use them is boring, so instead we will recreate the eye laser effect from the boys. So let's start recreating the effect. First you need to film yourself making a strange face as if you are shooting from your eyes. Or having a constipation. <coughs> Uh, nevertheless, now let's open DaVinci Resolve, drop our footage onto our timeline and trim it to the needed portion, and then head to Fusion. Before we begin creating our glowing eyes and the lasers themselves, we need to track those eyes. To do that, with our Media In selected, press Ctrl Spacebar and type Planner Tracker, then press Add. Now we need to draw a simple shape around the eye of our choosing. You can experiment with tracker and motion type, but for this particular situation, point and translation should give the best results. Now we need to set the selected frame as the reference and press track forward. Once the track is done, we need to press go in order to return to the reference frame and then track backwards. Once the tracking is done, we need to click Create Planner Transform to create a node that is containing all of the tracking information. By pressing F2, we are going to rename it, calling it a left eye. Now we are going to delete Planner Tracker and add it again in order to do the same thing but for the other eye. This one is going to be called right eye, and we are going to move them aside for the time being. Now, it is a good rule of thumb to begin the construction of your effects from a background node, thus making sure that further effects will be propagated into the dimensions of the background node rather than something smaller. So let's drag a background node into our node editor. With background node selected, press Ctrl spacebar and type Paint. Then control spacebar again and type soft glow. Reduce background alpha to zero so we can see through it. Now let's connect our soft glow to the media in and thus create an emerge node. We need to change paint color to something like pink because lasers are typically closer to white at the center and then become more and more red to the edges. Then select soft glow and reduce green and blue sliders to zero, thus making it red. Then select paint, choose this circle tool and make a circle. Now we are going to add left eye tracking information to the pipeline by dragging it and holding shift at the same time. Choose paint and this select tool and position our circle on top of the eye. Scale it if needed. I noticed that our reference, which is Homelander from Boys, has some dots in the eye when they begin to glow. So we are going to recreate it. I found this image online and saved it. I'm going to drag it directly into our note editor. And then I'm going to connect it after paint. Using merge node, position and scale it to fit on top of our glowing circle. Let's rename it and call it dots. Now we need to make an illusion that this glowing circle is inside the eye rather than being on top of it. To do that, we need some masking. Select Paint and click Polygon. Now draw a shape around the eye, thus concealing parts of the circle that are outside of the eye. Since this mask is connected before the tracking node, it is going to follow the same tracking data. Now we are going to select everything but the tracking node and copy it by pressing Ctrl-C, and then paste it by pressing Ctrl-V. Let's connect it to the pipeline. Select Merge and reposition it to cover the other eye. Also refine our polygon. It became obvious that this polygon shape does not affect those dots. So let's connect it to the dots by connecting it to Merge node. Then 
that's better. Add the tracking information to the node tree and reposition it again by using the merge node. Now we need to create lasers and for that we are going to use free plugin made by this guy. Link will be in the description. Watch his video to figure out how to use it. Once it is installed, open generators and drag this effect into the node tree. Connect it to the pipeline. Change type to a line and select a preset that you like. Position the initial and the end points by simply dragging them on the screen. Play with the line parameters, changing the glow, color and so on until you are happy with the result. Now copy tracking data to our laser line by copying our tracking node and pasting it after the plugin. By the way, you can make it easier on your machine by selecting all of the nodes that you do not need right now and press Ctrl-P to temporarily disable them. Now copy our laser effect and connect it to the pipeline too. Use Merge node to reposition it to the other eye. Add tracking data for this eye as well. Now let's trim and animate our effects. Enable the effect that you need and disable the rest of them. Open Keyframes tab and trim this effect to the desired length by trimming the corresponding Merge node. Do this to the other eye as well. And now we need to animate Merge Blending mode to make our eye appear gradually. Find the necessary frame, drop the blend to zero and click this diamond. Reposition playhead to the needed frame and increase it to 1. I notice that the glow is kind of weak, so click glow and increase its intensity. The same thing for the other eye. Now let's animate the lasers. The only parameter that needs to be animated in here is this one, called Length. Do this for both eyes. Enable all of the nodes and now it's time to color grade it. If you want to know how to color grade it, there will be a link in the description. At the end, I added an animated lens reflections and added film grain to make it prettier. Add sound effects and the job is done. Thank you everybody for watching and goodbye.